Hey, Flowers and Gems here, coming to you with a new project. So if you're interested in how I made some homemade diapers, stay tuned. So we'll start out with a pre-fold since they seem to be the cheapest ones. This one I got at my baby shower. I think my sister made this one. So um, if she did make it, it was just um, basically a muslin sheet. And as you can see, uh, she just sewed a liner in there. So she said that I could use this as a pre-fold or um, a burp cloth. So uh, I just put a little piece of fabric in there to protect the, the pad so it doesn't get tremendously dirty. But, you know, I thought that was a pretty good idea. Let's back up here a little bit. So, um... I just decided to cut up some fabric and I uh, decided to just do it on my own. I, uh, I had some extra muslin um, laying around so I didn't even sew it because if I don't like them then I'm just, it's not a big loss, you know, I could just throw it away. So I kind of just did like her. Uh, I have a diaper liner here. I know this isn't too pretty but I made a diaper pad here and I just folded it in thirds. And of course, you know, this was completely free because it was made out of scrap fabric and I didn't even sew it. So it was pretty easy, but I know that other people use receiving blankets um, and other things like that. If you wanted to use like even dish towels or anything like that, you know, cheap, easy. Uh, in this case, you know, uh, I just did some for like free. So here's like uh, scrap fabric that I had. You know, this is, um, this one's just like made out of like an old shirt, <laughs> but it's the same principle. So next up is my diapers and diaper covers. So for my shower, I got a few um, newborn uh, disposable diapers, but I really like the idea of cloth diapers. So I looked online and their averages were between like four and $15 per diaper which um, wasn't expensive, but it wasn't cheap either, especially when you might buy like the multiple kinds and you know, spread out over a few days. Could get pretty pricey on, uh, depending on what you chose. So I decided to uh, give it a go and do some cloth diapers. And uh, so I took some measurements from the disposable diaper and this is what I came up with. So I had uh, the diaper and the diaper pad. So I thought I would uh, try the diaper pad first and uh, so I just took some old work shirts and like t-shirts and old washcloths and so this is what I came up with um, so you can see not not too shabby not too great but you know what it's just gonna get poop and pee all over it and um, you know it has uh, three layers of washcloth and a top and bottom cover so uh, I could just throw this in the wash and if I don't like them I can throw them away so uh, that was the diaper pad in there and then for the actual uh, diaper cover um, I came up with that pattern so you saw my uh, numbers there and I just cut out of newspaper so I came up with this pattern so that is what I came up with and then um, Instead of going to the fabric store, um, I just decided I wanted something um, waterproof. I know they have that special PVL fabric and stuff, so I figured that was quite expensive. So I decided when I saw the um, tablecloths at my grocery store, they were past season and they were running about $2.50 each. So I ended up getting about three of these and you can actually see how much you get and this is with two patterns already cut out of it so um yeah you get quite a bit of that and so from that um i just cut out my pattern so you can kind of see that this is actually just like an old um work shirt that I'm using as a liner. Um, you can actually see the flannel backing from the um, tablecloth and instead of sewing um, 
what the heck are those things called? Uh, the case, the casings. I just decided to sew the elastic straight into the diaper. And so this ended up being my final project. So again, this is the um, tablecloth and I have the diaper pad on the inside. So I just have like, um, I think this is just like an old sweater. This is the diaper pad so I can just throw this this guy away when it's um, when it's soiled, I mean the top cover. But you know, it worked out pretty good. If you want to go extra cheap on it, uh, I actually made a few out of t-shirts and things like that so beyond the price of the elastic but you know I already had it so this diaper was actually completely free and I thought it actually turned out quite well so here's the other pattern I got from the tablecloth and I actually got um, one professionally made one from the shower so this is one of the bum genius ones and you know all in all I thought I did pretty good I uh, I might add some like velcro on the inside uh, in the flaps and everything like that but uh, yeah that's it and uh, I thought they came out incredibly cute I thought you know maybe they're not too comparable but you know, we'll see if it works, and I just thought they were adorable. So if you like this video, please a thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you again. Bye-bye.